Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Howdy, peoples. Let's see, where did we leave off on? I always get a little confused after uh, playing with Trin on Sundays because uh, we play very relaxed when we're playing with each other, but then when I do things on my own, I try to keep it structured and I try to keep things planned out. I know I found the quantum body armor yesterday while I was goofing around in uh, in Thomcraft and uh, I stuck them in. I recharged all of the pieces, so now I have a jetpack. Sweet. I'm really happy I have a jetpack now. It's weird, it flies up faster than it moves forward, so... Uh, I, I'll have to get used to it. But yeah, here's the infusion. Uh, the arcane pedestal and the infusion altar that I built yesterday. And then uh, I upgraded... I put more jars in here. So that when I break down armors, it fills in all the pieces, not just some of them. But yeah, uh... One thing that happened in between the streams, uh, we're dead, dead in the water. So I think the, the, the problem that we have right now is that I'm using more energy uh, with the Void Ore Miner Tier 3 and the, uh, the mob farm that's going on. Uh, I believe that is, I'm using more energy than, uh, that I'm inputting. So the gas burning generators are my main source of uh, power. They're all generating, they're all full. They're generating uh, all four of them together, 10, 10K a tick, but I'm pretty sure I'm using just a little bit over 10K a tick. And that's why after about a week, it uh, killed the entire buffer that I had going on here. So that's what we have to work on. Uh, now we have an energy crisis, so I have to work on power generation. And the one thing I wanted to work on with power generation was uh, in mechanism. I'm almost done with making this, for like finishing this, this tab, so I wanted to work on the fusion reactor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work backwards. Like I'm going to build the fusion reactor first then I'm going to focus on uh, making the fuels that are required. So I'm going to go backwards because I want to place the reactor and then uh, and then you like I want to know where my reactor is going to be in its final location before I start making the uh, the fuels for it. But hmm, I could always do ender tanks to transport the fluids to the reactor. Hmm. Let me check one other thing. Nuclear craft. Oh, let me let me grab these uh, loot chests real quick. Let's see fusion core. Fusion core. Chemical reactor, chemical fluid, neutron, electrolyzer. I'm trying to see if the nuclear furnace, fission fuels, fission controller. That's the fission controller. I'm looking for fusion. Fusion core. Uh, I found out today that the nuclear craft fusion reactor and the mechanism fusion reactor both take the same fuel. So I really wanted to see if I could make enough of the two fuels to power both of those reactors. Like that sounds super interesting to me right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, if I'm going to be making if I'm going to be making uh, fuel for both of those systems, I want to know where I'm going to place both of those fusion reactors down. But I'm I'm also I'm probably going to do ender tanks to transport the fluids to each unit. So since I'm using ender tanks, it won't matter where I'm going to put down 
the uh, the two fuel sources. Oh, nice, a crafting unit. Uh, always put those to use. Two of them, nice. Helium collector. Alrighty. I'll just dump these in here for right now. Uh, and so I guess let's work on <clears throat> let's work on the first fuel then. Uh, I know I have a I have brine going up here. I know I have that. And I have brine being turned into liquid chlorine for right now. I was doing this because I wanted to go into the advanced metallurgic fabricator to make titanium, but now that we have an energy crisis, I need to switch gears and I need to uh, work on power, power generation. So should I repurpose this for now or should I just make a new one? Uh, hum, 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 hum. Plus, I'm not 100% sure if the height of these things, does that affect, does that only affect the temperature? Or does the, the height also affect how much can be stored? That I'm not sure of. So let's see, it's already getting nighttime. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do? Should I make, should I build more? Should I build some small ones? Just to get it going. Let me, can I sleep already? Nope. Let me shave this off. Let me see if I can run straight through this, make some room. Now I should be able to sleep. There we go. Man, I really need an excavator. Whoop, I forgot about that, the jetpack. I really want to cut this in half so that I can vein mine. Let's see if I can pull this off by cutting this in half and having no dirt connected. I don't think the vein miner is going to go that far. I need to get rid of the trees before they turn into floating trees. Let's see if I can pull this off. Good. We got a singular tree up here. Get rid of you. And then this should be, I should be able to just shave through this now. Cool. Working so far. that pretty well so I need I need two thermal evaporation valves and I need a thermal evaporation controller so let's go make those real quick I'm gonna see if I can make the minimum and let me get rid of this because I have more than enough space inside the ME drives Okay, so thermal, we got evaporation block. We need one thermal. We don't have that, so let's see. 
we make a stack uh, and then I need the ultimate fluid tank, which is in the middle, elite, advanced, basic, and I'm going to keep them here on me, just in case it doesn't want to pull it out of the inventory. Elite and ultimate. And I am, uh, I did start working on uh, auto crafting. If you can see, uh, I, I'm i trying to learn how P2P faces work. So I got three P2P faces on here, which are transmitting three channels into the 32 that are being pulled out of the bottom. Uh, so seven channels are coming into the bottom because I couldn't plug in my my pa my terminals into the dense cable. I had to use the thin one. And then I have uh, the so two ME drives, three faces, the storage bus, and the uh, the the one channel or one of the P2P tunnels is being transmitted through to the basement, which I'll show you that real quick. I have that those 32 just one channel coming down which opens up to that one 30 one p2p tunnel from the one face that opened up 32 channels I'm trying really hard to learn how to auto craft I set up auto crafting on all of the circuits I set up auto crafting on uh, making pure crystals and then I ran uh, four cables through uh, all the way to the immersive engineering section and then if you can see I, I threw a rotten egg and it turned into a cockatrice so I have a little buddy running around down here uh, I have uh, a couple of channels going to molecular assemblers I'm still trying to learn like how many of these interfaces I need and how the crafting co-processing and the crafting storages work I'm still learning all of that but then yeah I ran the cable down to the immersive section and I set up uh, I made three more of the metal presses. Each of them have one of the plates, and I've set up the interfaces. So now I have rods, plates, gears, and uh, wires automated, and they they all feed to the end. Uh, and with a conveyor belt, they go back to into the ME system. So I successfully automated this as well. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure it looks cringy, gross, but I kind of like wires. I think I've mentioned that on a previous stream. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm doing my best on learning how to do automation. So I'm going to try to set up automation uh, down the line. So we need two valves, one for water and one for brine to come out. And then uh, let me grab the, the evaporation blocks. And I'm going to try and see if uh, bare minimum. Oh, and yeah, I set up auto crafting. I was testing it. Set up auto crafting with uh, solar. These uh, solar generators. I set these up in advance. Why is it on? Why can't you pull out all of them? Oh, because they don't stack. So yeah, I I tried auto crafting with these bad boys. So I totally forgot. I do have uh, solar craft. These advanced solar generators. I learned how to put all of these into like auto crafting so I can make these by clicking just once instead of going through all of the recipes like I did before so yeah like I guess while I'm while I'm here let me just make the second I need to make the second thermal as well because we need to push Brian into uh, so I need another one of these tanks so this tank would probably be a great recipe to turn into uh, auto crafting so that y'all don't have to watch me do this. <laughs> Thermal. Oh, there's another four. Uh, uh, I'll build this. Yeah, but uh, I'm still trying to learn what it's required for, uh, you know, like each one of these steps requires a pattern and my ME interfaces with the molecular assemblers, they keep filling up and I keep having to make more molecular mo molecular assemblers and more ME interfaces. So I don't want to get stuck making the uh, just auto crafting the assemblers over and over again. 
that's the frustrating part. Like it feels like every time I got something down, I need to m go back and make even more. So I'm asking around on the internet on uh, how many uh, molecul molecular assemblers are really required to hit endgame. I don't want to just keep making four new every time I run out of space. So we'll make two of these and then we'll make Oh no, okay, yeah. One, two, three, four. We'll make two of these and then maybe we can split it between the two. And then if I need wires, I can always teleport back real quick. But yeah, it's a it's a struggle with me because I want to I want to be entertaining, but I also want to progress the way I want to progress and play the way I want to play, but you know, there's always there's that tiny piece of me that uh, I want I want to be entertaining so that people watch, not get frustrated with me not doing it perfectly like all of the all of the YouTube badasses out there. So let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still going to need the same base. Uh, how far apart should I make these? Should I put these really close? Mm, I don't think it'll matter. But then I would hate to need to move them. So let me do two spaces. Rub the tum tum. Just play your way. Personally, I find thing doing things your own way more entertaining. Shows different ways to do different things. I do agree. Uh, I I mentioned that a couple of times in like my past streams and on my YouTube videos that I upload. Uh, but and there's you know my part where I want to play it as as efficiently as possible, and I don't want to give any f bad information. You know, I like I care about I never really thought about being entertaining until uh, Trin started streaming with me. I wanted to be informative and I last thing I wanted was to give bad information. And it feels like ever since I started streaming and YouTubing that nothing goes exactly the way I want it to go. So maybe it's a little bit of me being a a, uh, a perfectionist. Or maybe, you know, being a little bit too hard on myself, too. Uh, so the thermal evaporation, they need to be 4 by 4s So let's do the bottom like this. And uh, should I put the ports at the bottom again? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put a port here and a port here. And then I'll sleep off the night. Let's see, port here and a port here. And then, why did I do it? I put it right here. Uh, I'm running out of blocks really quick. I can always make more because those aren't really that hard to make. They're uh, just steel, which I've been pumping out. Uh, let's do the bottom layer to two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three four and then here here and the ports here uh, I upload uh, I, I stream every day between four and five and I upload a video every morning when I go to work right before I go to work like I render the videos at night and then I upload them. Uh, I click upload in the morning before I head off to work. I think I have all of my links uh, down at the bottom of my YouTube channel uh, or my, my Twitch stream at the bottom. It gives links to everything. If you're curious, uh, I'd love to I'd love to have uh, feedback, you know, like on what I could do better. If it's uh, you know, please do automation or, <laughs> or uh, you know, increase the volume was one. So I learned how to use the snowball recording device better. It's like, because this is my hobby. So I wanna, I really wanna make uh, 
I want to do this better for the right reasons. Like, I have income. I don't need Twitch streaming and YouTubing for income. So this is my hobby. Like, I love recording. And uh, every time I watch the YouTubers, um, like, I really enjoy learning in 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 anything but in minecraft you know like that's what what my what keeps me playing minecraft is the learning and and figuring out things that aspect is what makes it really fun for me thermal i need more blocks i'll make another stack uh because i'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make these bigger Thank you so much, Rub. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for the follow, too. It means a lot to me. So, yeah, uh, this used to be my power location. That's why my ender, lo ender book still says power, but I repurposed it now. To here, to there. Oh, and I just realized that uh, I need to knock the wall back further because the uh, advanced generators aren't going to reach. Or they're they're too big. There, 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 there. I need to do one more row, and then two more here, and like that. And I know. I wonder, does does it need all four generators, or does it need just two? I think I should cheese it. I think this should work. And then this isn't going to work. No, because I need to make some room. So I'm not going to vein mine or anything, but I'm going to make a little bit of room like this just for right now. And I can always clean it up later. Is that enough room? Okay, good. Whoa. And I think that the these guys, the larger they are, it doesn't increase the capacity of brine that they, or fluid that they can hold. It only increases the, the, the heat that they can generate. But if I'm wrong, uh, I would really appreciate to be corrected on that. Put that there. Because I saw the particle effect, so I wonder if the solar arrays are required. Did... Oh, okay. I was like, did you break? Oh wait, my tools are unbreakable. Okay, is this... I probably have to lower the rock a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, I really need to clean this. There we go. Put you down here. And put you down here. There we go, we got the particle effect, and now we have two of these small ones set up. Um, hmm. Oh, what I just thought of. I don't know if that would work, but if I pumped Brian out the front into here to make the liquid chlorine, could I pump the Brian out here as well to make the lithium? Let me try that, and if it doesn't work, I can keep going with what I was going. Pressurized ultimate logistical, which one was it? Pressurized was gas, logistical was items. I think I ran out of mechanical pipes, that's what it is. So I need mechanical pipes. Uh, mechanical pipes. Uh, I don't have buckets, really. Iron plates. I'm just going to make a, a, as many as I can, and then iron plate. 
let me make another hundred and then mechanical basic mechanical um hmm 32 for now basic to advanced to elite to ultimate hey really why'd you only do eight of the 32 what why are you only doing eight of the 32 <laughs> this is right why'd you only do eight what's up with that eight's enough for now that's just weird. Maybe if I log on, log off and on later, it'll let me make the rest of them. Uh, but I've been having problems with uh, mechanism in this pack. Like the, for some weird reason, like the sink works and it fills in, but sometimes it stops filling even though like everything looks like it should still be working. Let's see. This should work. I'll grab the configurator. and set you to pull there we go and you're gonna make more because the chlorine is on standby wow you're dead in the water see you're not taking water again or are you taking water and turning it into brine immediately and filling this guy up with brine first probably that's probably what it is so here we go we have liquid lithium and then the liquid lithium needs to be turned into a needs to be turned into a gas lithium liquid lithium so we need a decondenserator so rotary decondenserator rotary Let's see, I should be able to make that one. It just needs a basic, yeah. Basic and a basic. And one of these energy tablets, which, oh, cool, I ran out of enriched alloys, so. Let's grab three stacks and go to mechanism. And throw these in here. And let me speed this up. Yep, and we're still having our power drain. So let me just grab these for now. And I need one of these. And there's the rotary condenserator. And the power. And I'll drop you in front here so this is a liquid 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 so we need the logistical or no the mechanical now pull you out into the condenserator which is going to need power see it always faces the wrong direction when i put it down Like this there we go and then the configurator there's that and liquid lithium of course now I put it in there how do I dump it do I just break it let me break it still full Ugh. let's 
Let's see, toggle. Oh, I'm pretty sure if I attach it and then switch it with, it needs power. If I switch it, it should be able to move it back. So let me grab the power, hook you up here, and now I should be able to just switch you back. Okay, liquid lithium, getting turned into lithium, that worked. And uh, so lithium needs to be turned, put into solar, solar neutron activators, which require these HDPE sheets. And that's a bummer because I need, I need to make it in pellets and I need to use the substrate in a PRC with liquid ethylene and oxygen. to make these guys. So I need to set up this thing too, even though I only need a little bit of it. Let's head to, I need another PRC, pressurized reaction chamber. Let's see, do I have enough for that? I'm missing the middle and the bottom too. So two more basic gas tanks, one and two, and then the an enrichment chamber there and a let's see PRC and oh, I see I already had one that's what I hate when it doesn't pull it out of the ME system I need that and I need another rotary condenserator so I need another energy tablet and a basic tank and a another basic tank there we go uh i need a drawer accidentally shift clicked on a bunch of them earlier and i need oxygen which i already have so let's go to mechanism and see if I can set this up because this this is a temporary setup. I don't need it to make a whole bunch. So basic pressurized tube needs to go into the rotary condenserator. Okay, to be turned into a liquid. I need run power. I can't wait to move into the, the mechanism building that I'm planning on, on making. Uh, power. But I want to build uh, the fusion reactor as the centerpiece to the entire uh, mechanism building. So I want to have the fusion reactor placed where I want it before I start moving all of the mechanism stuff over there. Make it look pretty. So ethylene being turned into liquid ethylene. And then that needs to go into a pressurized reaction chamber. Sorry to interrupt, but I was hoping I could bring you the tea. Oh, Tran! <laughs> I brought you some tea. Thank you. Hello, stream. <laughs> Hello. My cat's here too. Sorry to interrupt. Enjoy. No, it's not an interruption. That's funny. Tea. Tea. We got we got to rip off other YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see so where was I I need to change this trash can <laughs> thank you rub that is true I, I count my blessings daily uh, so I need to change that trash can into a substrate yes okay so that worked without without uh, a hitch uh, so I got liquid ethylene that needs mechanical pipe now man this is starting to look bad uh, mechanical pipe and I need to set it 
to pull into the PRC. Ah, these things and turning them like this. Okay, where does it go in? It looks like all of the sides look the same. How did I do it again with the... So the left side needs to be water. No, water came in the back. So... Side config. Uh, energy fluids. Uh, so l let me turn this. Let me see if I can get this to work. This is one of the confusing parts for me. So fluids, input, fluid yellow, none, fluid. OK, so fluid. OK, cool, fluid yellow. And then I also need oxygen, which I wanted to see if I can make this work. Pressurized tubes. Am I out of pressurized tubes? Yeah, I'm out of pressurized tubes. Need to make some more of those. Basic pressurized tubes. Vib oh, quartz glass. And I think quartz glass can be used. Nope. So it has to be vibrant quartz glass, which is like that. And let me just use eight basic for right now. I'm trying to be all bougie by making them all ultimate, but I'm wasting time. Uh, I only have an hour a day, and I really want this episode to be like something progressive. Um, mechanism, that's where I was. Okay, so basic pressurized tube. Let me see if I can feed it up here. A little lag spike. There's oh no, don't connect. No, did you mess up everything now? No, that's my fault. How do I purge the oxygen from here now? Hydrogen, ethylene. Do I have to replace all of the cable? Let's see if I can run. No, I, so I can't connect it there. Oh man, I need to run the power up one higher. And then basic pressurized tube. Is it going to connect again from over here though? Man, this looks terrible, but I don't I I only need it to It's going to come down here and connect. Ugh. Man, so I need, is that right? Three more. So let me remove two, three. Pretty sure I have to replace these anyway. And then pull, and hopefully it'll pull the right one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, more ethylene. Liquid ethylene. Three more tubes. Instead of trying to repurpose these, let me try and make more. Mechanism. 
wonder if it's going to be super lame if I name this episode uh, HTB pellets. Boring. <laughs> so let's see. You can take that is going to be gas. No, I don't want to toggle. Wait. No, you need to come in over here. So I I'm glad I made more. I actually needed more. Uh, so. Uh, gas from the top. And. Yeah, I don't need to run. I don't need to run a cable when I can just plug it in. Is that hydrogen? Hydrogen? No. Oh no, yeah, it's it's hydrogen that's being pulled out, not oxygen. The oxygen is part of my uh, setup for ore tripling. So let's see. Okay, how do I purge the hydrogen from this? There's no dump. Eject. So I do need to use the electrolytic separator. This guy is now dead, huh? No, you're producing ethylene. These are full. Liquid ethylene, like everything is working except for the hydrogen. Can I shift right click anything? Uh, gas output. Is there a gas trash can maybe? Electrolytic separator. Ah, I need another one of these. And I can always repurpose these things later. And then let me drop this stuff in here. And then will the trash can... It's worth a shot. Mechanism. Well. Oh, that run speed was no joke. Uh, trash can. Let's hope this works. No. How am I going to get the hydrogen out? Let me see if breaking it will work. I hope breaking it works. Nope. I need to eject the gas. Pressurized. Let's see. Trash for fluid and for that trash void fluid or item fluid energy trash chest maybe if I just make gas tank 64 buckets let me see if this will work uh, Basic gas. Please just go away. <laughs> so red. Gas. Gas red. Dude. Red. Is it a fluid?
basic pressurized tube, basic pressurized tube. It is gas and it's red. So gas output gas red. Gas red. Ah, oh, man. Do I have to do inputs on this? Yeah. Input. Auto. Eject. Man, most of this with mechanism is always trial and error. Can't eject, huh? Gas dark red. This is always the struggle with me is hydrogen. I can't get rid of the hydrogen. Input on all. I have gas injecting on all. trial and error this uh. wonder what I'm doing wrong. Eject on. It is because I don't have power. I'm going to have to cut everything. OK. 
Okay, no, it's not because of power. Basic gas tank. <sighs> Side config. Gases. Eject. Pull. Google. Gauge dropper. Gauge dropper. Whoa. Oh my god. Please tell me I can do this. Items. Auto eject. Okay. Dude, this is so lame. Okay. I don't know why it wouldn't just let me pipe it out.
All right, so that is now clear. Let's see, how am I gonna do this with the electrolytic separator? So I need you to do Let's see, power, nope, nope, and I'm going to set you to I need water. gonna put down another sink ultimate mechanical pipe no <laughs> this guy here and then let me grab a sink And then I should be able to put water in right there. Making hydrogen, which I don't want. And you're making oxygen, which I do want. And then I should be able to move the oxygen, the pressurized tube, right here and there we go HDPE pellets that was a little bit cringy and and hard to do hard to watch but I was trying to instead of making a, an entirely new setup just for this one item that I only need a couple of I wanted to just tack it on to the end of this real quick just so that I could get the, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rub. I did it. Yeah, uh, I just need, I think, man, I think I only need like one stack of these pellets to make the uh, the HDPE sheet. Yeah, I can run them through the enrichment chamber. Three can make one. Uh, and then I only need, I think, three, three to five of these. But uh, I'll have to save that for tomorrow's episode because I ran out of time. Uh, I really wish I could have gotten at least one of the two fuels for the fusion reactor down, but I can take care of these HDP HDPE pellets for now. And uh, next episode, we can start with the solar neutron activators and... Uh, creating the the first fuel and if I'm if I th if I think if I'm gonna do it right I can do both fuels in tomorrow's episode and then we'll at least have both of the fuels ready and then the episode after that will be me placing down the fusion reactor in an area that I want the mechanism building to be so uh, thank you all for watching and thank you rub for joining me on this adventure this entire time it was really fun talking to you and I'll be streaming again tomorrow between 4 and 5 p.m. And uh, the videos are uh, shifted off a little bit. Uh, I think three or four days I, I have backlogged. So, And the videos will be up. The hour that I worked on will be up on YouTube to watch. Uh, and all of my information's down under my Twitch stream. Uh, links to my YouTube and to my Instagram and all of that jazz. And also... Uh, my girlfriend Trin, that the beautiful Trin that brought me the tea, uh, she also streams, and uh, I'm I need to update my Twitch stream downstairs or down under the video to include links to her YouTube and to her Twitch too. But thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you got as much enjoyment as I did from this.